G'day, my name's Ben Futro from Onlet3Legs.com. Um, somebody asked me to do a quick video on the TVC33, and uh, I mean, there's plenty of great videos out there on this particular tripod. but I know I saw them when I was there, but in particular, someone asked me just to show how easy it was to set up. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's no different to most tripods. It's, it, it, it's ease of setup um, that have this quick release system. I find that you know, I can very quickly get the legs extended to where I want them to. Those uh, twist locks are very, very effective at what they do. And this particular tripod is is just, you know, everything works really fluidly. And you'd expect that from a premium sort of company like Really Right Stuff. You know, they've been making these tripods for a long time. And I'm sure they've made their mistakes. And, you know, getting it right is something that they probably thought pretty carefully about before they made it. So it is very, very simple to extend wind in. I mean, this, I've only had this for about maybe three months, but I, you know, I use it a fair bit. I'd use it once or twice a week at least, um, and usually I use it on the beach. So it's getting, you know, it's getting sand and dirt, and I, I, I usually just rinse it out with fresh water when I'm done to make sure that the, that it's going to last me a lifetime. Um, as far as the tripod itself goes, very, very well built. Very, very easy to make adjustments. Like, you know, if I want to put the tripod down flat on the ground. To get the legs out flat like so, as you can see, it's just a matter of pulling a few of these out of the way. And you know, now I've got a tripod that will sit flat on the ground. Um, you now, one of my bugbears with the old Manfrotto one I had was that it would, uh, it had a centre post and it was, I couldn't get it down low without mucking around for about three or four minutes. And sometimes by then the shot's just gone, you know, so you want to. You want something that you can adjust very, very quickly. Uh, the other thing about this is this is a very, very sturdy tripod. So whilst it's very light because it's carbon fibre, I find it extremely sturdy. It's just such, you know, it's chunky. So there's not a lot that shakes it around and that gives you, well, it certainly gives me much sharper shots. Um, you'll see that what I've got on here is I've got the VH55 ball head by Really Right Stuff. And this particular ball head is, you know, into my, into my way of thinking is a piece of art, you know, it's a great ball head. I've gone for the lever release rather than the, the screw type. And the reason I've done that is in my, must be my old age, but if you can notice there's three screw type knobs on here, and whilst they're quite different in size, particularly this one, if I'm adjusting the panning friction or the ball friction, and I had a screw here, there have been times when I've accidentally loosened the camera. And they're not times when I'm in a relaxed state, they're usually times when I'm a bit flustered, I'm on the edge of a, a, a wet area, there's you know waves crashing around me, and I, I want to quickly make an adjustment and I've accidentally loosened the camera. That's very dangerous in those situations. So I much prefer to have this. It's a very different tactile feel to the other knobs. So it's very obvious that I'm either touching that or I'm touching one of the other knobs. And it, look, it works great. It's, I even think it's quicker. I do have another tripod that has a, a screw head on it. And like I said, they're the problems that I have. So I'll try and keep clear of those. Um, everything about this head is just is magnificent. So it's expensive, uh, but what price you put on quality, you know? You get what you pay for. So if you want something that, that's gonna last a long time, works absolutely seamlessly every time, then I suggest if, you, if you're using a tripod a lot, then you, you couldn't go past this particular tripod. Um, if I'm out hiking long distance, I don't take this one. I take a smaller travel one by Ben Ray with me. Um, but for most of my shooting, this is the one I use. The Really Right Stuff TVC 33.